Lamborghinis for his kids, multi-million dollar super yachts, and $80 million on, well, we'll get to that later. This is the crazy rich life of Shaquille O'Neal, and the Diesel's multi-million dollar garage has everything you could dream of, including a car from one of the most iconic films ever. But first, let's take a look at some of his other crazy rides. A Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a Phantom, a Lamborghini Gallardo, a 98 Ferrari 355 F1 Spider, a Mercedes S550 Convertible, a Vader, a Vanderhall Venice Roadster, and three Bentleys, an Azure, an Arnage, and a Continental GT. That's not even counting his custom vehicles. Vehicles. And we're talking about more than just cars. Shaq has a Mercedes-Benz 600 that has a fish tank in the speakers and a Ford F650 that he put an additional 70K into, more than what the truck is worth. But the most Shaq-ass custom rides he owns has to be this huge 14-foot chopper. It's decked out with LED lights, an NBA championship ring feature, and of course, a Superman logo. Its nickname? the Man of Steel bike, to round out his garage. A 1963 Cadillac Eldorado convertible, identical to Al Pacino's from Scarface, with the exact same tiger print. But some of Shaq's craziest car purchases occurred because he felt disrespected by a car salesman. One time, Shaq and Mike Tyson went to a Rolls Royce dealership looking for new cars. The salesman somehow didn't know who Shaq was and insulted him by bluntly stating, you're asking about all these cars, can you afford them? Furious, Shaq responded, responded by pointing at three Rolls Royces. He bought all of them and dropped a total of $1.3 million on the spot. But this overspending has backfired on Shaq, despite his good intentions. Right before getting drafted in 1992, he signed a $1 million trading card endorsement deal. Immediately after putting pen to paper, he went and bought three Mercedes, one for himself, one for his father, and another for his mother. Shaq added jewelry and other luxuries to the tab that led to a call from the bank. Because of the taxes that were taken out, Shaq Jack's $1 million deal was actually only worth around 600K, and his impulsive spending left him 80K in the hole. That's not even his wildest shopping spree. Another time, Shaq spent 70K in one night at a store that you would not expect. After getting traded from Miami to Phoenix in 2008, he needed to furnish his new Arizona apartment. So he went out to buy five 80-inch flat screen TVs, multiple computers, printers, and more. But when he swiped his card to check out, it declined. American Express immediately immediately called him because they thought a stranger had stolen his credit card and gone shopping at Walmart. It was just Shaq. He even said to himself, I'm Walmart's biggest customer. So much so that he has a very interesting deal with them that we'll get into later in the video. He's also paid a ridiculous amount to have celebrities attend his kids' birthday parties. When his son Sharif turned 16, Shaq threw him a not-so-normal sweet 16. It came with an in-and-out truck, a cupcake tower, and a performance by Post Malone. Altogether, this celebration cost Shaq 400 k for the party alone. But none of that compares to these gifts that came with a catch. He surprised Sharif with a custom Jeep Wrangler and a matching Lamborghini Gallardo. The catch? Shaq told Sharif he would receive the Jeep once he got his drive driver's license, but he would not have access to the Lamborghini until he received all A's in school. We can assume Sharif didn't get his grades up, as there haven't been any public photos of him driving the Lambo since. But Sharif got the last laugh, with a hilarious nickname for Shaq's massive $1.7 million 72-foot super yacht. When the diesel took to the internet to ask what he should name it, Sharif and others joked, free throw, so it won't sink. And while Shaq doesn't own a private jet, he does charter them all the time, but he can't fly without a very Shaq pre-flight routine. When taking planes like this insane Bombardier Challenger 300, Shaq will prep with pizza delivery before takeoff. When he wants to chill, Shaq can go to his mansion that has a mini mansion in the backyard. He currently lives in this Atlanta home with his family, near the inside the NBA studio where he works. This insane palace has a koi pond, basketball court, Superman gate, a quarter mile driveway, personal gym, and Shaq's broken rim tree, an homage to all the backboards he destroyed over his career. Now, this is what is in the backyard, a custom-made treehouse that's the size of your home. It has a poker setup, wet bar, and a massive painting of Shaq himself. His other mansions have even crazier additions that include aquatic life. But before we discuss the furnishings, let's check out the mansions. He has this multi-million dollar Las Vegas home and this Dallas estate. Shaq also used to own a house in LA just because Paula Abdul lived across the street and this Orlando mansion. He originally bought the Orlando home for $3.95 million 
then put $20 million into it, nicknaming it Shakapulco. Then he tried selling it for $28 million, but ultimately sold the spot for $11 million. It has housed some of Shaq's most prized possessions, like this Superman-inspired fish tank. And that's just the first aquarium. He spent an additional 120 k on this Egyptian-style room, complete with another personalized tank for just one fish. This Florida home also drew the attention of musicians because of one very unique feature. It wasn't the personalized basketball court, the outdoor cabana, or the 95-foot pool. It was the dance studio that doubled as a recording studio. According to Shaq, this is where NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys recorded both of their very first albums. Shaq charged them 25 bucks a day to rent the space. But that studio isn't just for boy bands. It's also for rappers who have reached the Billboard Hot 100, like Shaq himself. He recorded his 1993 debut album, Shaq Diesel, in Orlando, and it sold over a million copies. Two of the songs from that album, I Know I Got Skills, and I'm Outstanding, hit the Billboard Hot 100 as number 35 and 47. And while Shaq's musician lifestyle is fit for a Hollywood celebrity, his fashion is insanely reasonable. Most superstar athletes flaunt six to seven figure timepieces, but Shaq has his own line of reasonably priced Invicta watches that he actually wears, like this massive Invicta X Shaq piece. And with most custom suits costing over $2,500, Shaq has his own line of affordable jackets and pants, similar to his extremely unique sneaker deal that we are just about to get to. So, how did the diesel become worth over $400 million? When he was in the NBA, he made over $286 million in 19 seasons. But he makes even more money now. Being an inside the NBA personality is a huge part of that. In 2022, he signed an extension with Turner Sports and TNT that's rumored to be in the nine-figure range. Today, he brings in a reported $60 million per year, more than what he made in any single season in the NBA. This is also because of his huge huge social media following, 11 million on TikTok, 15 million on Twitter, and an astounding 27 million on Instagram. This global branding has allowed him to get pizzas named after him. Shaq has worked with over 50 different companies with names like Buick, Icy Hot, The General, Oreos, Pepsi, Tonka Trucks, and Papa John's. In 2019, Shaq even became a Papa John's board member and got his very own pizza dubbed the Shaqaroni, which is very fitting as Shaq said himself that he doesn't like rich people food. His personal favorites? Chicken wings, pizza, and chips. He enjoys home-cooked meals so much that he has even written his own cookbooks that you can buy on Amazon. Shaq loves business so much that he has been an owner for some of the biggest companies and sports teams on the planet. This includes 150 55 Five Guys restaurants, over 150 car washes, 40 24-hour fitness facilities, his own restaurant Big Chicken, his own comedy shows, and his own NFT collection Shaq Gives Back. He's also a successful investor in Google, Apple, Lyft, and was a part owner of the Sacramento Kings from 2013 to 2022. In addition to these investments, Shaq has also put millions into real estate, naming buildings after himself. In 2019, Shaq created an $80 million apartment complex in New Jersey and called it Shaq Tower. He plans to open another $150 million complex in the same area and name it the house that Shaq built. But even with all this success, Shaq has turned away huge money opportunities, one so big that he called it his biggest mistake. That blunder was turning down an investment opportunity with Starbucks. He also walked away from a $40 million deal with Reebok in 1998, but there was a big reason for doing so. He wanted to create a affordable sneakers for kids through Walmart. He was able to do so, and you can still buy these sneakers today. Shaq said that they have sold over 400 million pairs, but the diesel will always be an entertainer at heart, and that has transitioned to some of the most unexpected media and TV cameos. He has his video games, Shaq Fu and Shaq Fu A Legend Reborn, to go with cover appearances on NBA 2K6, 7, and 18. He's also appeared in over 78 different film and TV titles that include Grown Ups 2, The Lego Movie, Blended, The Simpsons, Uncle Drew, his own reality show Shaq Life, talk show Shaq Talk, and an HBO docuseries simply titled Shaq. Always in the public eye, what else could Shaq possibly do to win over fans? He's paid off a stranger's engagement ring while standing in line at Zales, tipped a server $4,000, bought brand new MacBooks and sneakers for kids, handed out a 1,000 PS5s and Nintendo Switches for Christmas, donated over a million dollars to the Boys and Girls Club, and much more. Shaquille O'Neal may be an even bigger celebrity today than when he was playing in the NBA, and is one of the largest personalities in all of entertainment. As he continues to make his name outside of basketball, 
basketball, constantly in the news for his hot takes. The real question is, what will Shaq spend his millions on next?